welcome back to another video and in this one we'll be taking a look at android build system without jack so yes jack is finally going to die uh, google has sort of announced the end of support for it and uh, we are going to see the speed differences that there is while building an uh, android open source project or android os for some device so first of all let's take a look at what we are dealing with today we are dealing with the android master branch uh, which is basically a preview and i am building it for the hikey 960 because that is the only device that i have that has support for this branch at the moment so what we'll be taking a look at is uh, back when Google introduced or was going to introduce Open JDK 8, they introduced it with something called Jack and Jill. Now, Jack was a compilation server that was built over Open JDK, and Jill, were, Jill was uh, libraries, uh, a set of libraries that, that complemented Jack and made the whole build possible. Now, why Google did, did this was basically they, their code wasn't ready to be purely built on open jdk and they wanted open jdk support so jack the way it behaves the way i don't like it to behave only does this on the android nougat branch android marshmallow branch had jack but the way it worked was for every uh, single file or every single project that needed jack it would start a new jack server and then immediately kill it when it was done but on android nougat what it does was it creates a single jack server and builds everything in it which is fine but until uh, it the way it works it's is where uh, everything goes downhill for me especially with someone that has limited hardware resources so the way jack uh, works on android n is it uh, depending upon the amount of RAM you have it will reserve a specific amount of RAM now for me particularly according to Jack I had very little RAM although it was 8 gigabytes and 8 gigabytes of RAM is more than enough for anything uh, Jack really thought that 8 gigabytes wasn't enough and what it did was only reserved around 2 or 3 gigs of RAM when uh, whereas it should have done was uh, reserve more than 4 gigs of RAM so what this resulted in that Jack had lesser memory to work with and it would very very frequently crash because it couldn't garbage collect fast enough it couldn't cre clear that small amount of memory fast enough for other processes or other things to compile so the compilation would always and every time uh, it was it would crash so the second effect here was i had to go ahead and modify the android build system to uh, for jack to allocate around 4 gigs of ram and that would uh, actually result in huge amount of ram usage almost full i would be completely 100 percent out of ram and on top of that i would have had a uh, one and a half gig of swap space which is a lot for swap it is not really easy to deal with and uh, it really slows everything down uh, and it has a lot of pressure uh, a lot of read write cycles on the hard drive and can sp affect the hard drive cycles as well so all in all the whole compilation process was very tedious it took a very lot of time and it was very stressing on the hardware so i wanted a build system that was free of jack of course the way uh, marshmallow handled it it was still faster because uh, jack wasn't running out of memory but uh, soon uh, after android n and after everyone including app developers because even they had to use jack if they wanted to use the android nougat api complained that jack is a complete load of crap and shouldn't have been implemented in the first place uh, uh, google should have gone ahead and uh, used either open jdk 7 the way it did with marshmallow or no and not used open jdk at all so now they have done that they have removed jack it is not completely removed from the build system yet but it can be completely and a hundred percent be disabled and we can go back the way it was to like something like lollipop where uh, there was no mention of jack at all so right now on your screen you can see uh, i am at the hikey 960 uh, android source code what i'll do is go ahead and open up the build common config file and uh, that has a bunch of uh, 
a bunch of environment variables and what I'll do I'll scroll down I'll disable my older environment variable which allowed Jack to have 4 gigs of uh, RAM and I will add the environment variable that allows Jack to not work at all and completely disables it and then i am going to run the test and let it run and what we'll do is note the time it takes as well as a couple more things So once the test has, uh, once the build has completed, we do have the results with us, and they are looking pretty darn good, and I am extremely happy with the results. So in terms of RAM after compilation, now again, as I said, Jack used to, uh, you know, block four gigs of RAM after the compilation was over. Though that four gig was still blocked by Jack, and I had to manually clear it. Whereas in this case, after compilation, there is uh, nothing no part of the RAM is being blocked by another process uh, that was used in the compilation and I have just uh, around 800 megabytes of RAM being used which is pretty amazing for uh, what it is uh, in terms of swap space again we have just uh, 500 megabytes of swap, swap space used instead of over uh, like uh, 1.5 gigabytes and what we are seeing here is around uh, one third of uh, the resources being used in terms of main memory so this is pretty good it is good for the hardware and it is uh, good for uh, pretty much everything else that means stuff happens really fast and that is also being reflected uh, what i was uh, getting with jack on nougat builds was around five hours of compilation time which is a huge time to take but now that has uh, rolled down to four uh, three hours and 40 minutes which is still uh, more than an hour less uh, it's uh, it's not really low but from for, for the kind of cpu that i have it is pretty darn impressive uh, for something like uh, this to be built in 3 hours and 40 minutes i haven't really seen this build time since uh, under lollipop and that was the time where lollipop's code was still much lighter than something like nogut and it would build fast and of course it didn't use jack again we have no jack here and it is building quite fast literally so again i am very very happy with the results uh of you know uh, and and of course along with results google's decision of completely scrapping out jack i hope the final uh, source code that gets released for uh, officially for android o actually has this inbuilt and i don't have to set an environment variable even if i have to set an environment variable it would be a very very good thing and that is where uh, things are looking uh, like they are going towards and that is pretty awesome and that is enough for today uh, thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video check out my other channels uh, down below and like this video if you liked it and i'll see you in the next one